No one cared who I was before I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Where's the podcast? Welcome to Bedroom Sessions. I'm Caleb. Hey, let's look at <laughs> My body is <laughs> Tanner's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Welcome <laughs> to our podcast today. Glad to be here, baby. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh man, I hope Ricky listens to this one. Um, Alright, well, today we're talking Dale about... Dale will, at least. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we are... We're talking about comic book movies, you know, comic books that have turned into movies, but specifically we're talking about DC Comics. Yep. Detective and Comics Comics. <laughs> I don't, is that what That's it's That's redundant. Hey, can, I, can I just say something real quick? I would like, uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Caleb. He always gets everything ready for us, and he doesn't get enough dap for it, so I just want to give a little shout out to him for uh, always making the out. podcast stuff ready. So, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, that, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. we're talking about DC movies. Yeah, we're talking about DC comic movies. We're Detective gonna, Comics, comics, movies. Yes, anyway. We're talking, we're going to talk about the worst, and we're going to talk about the best. We're going to give you our top five worst and our top five best. So let's start with the worst. Coming in at number five, it is... Watch Mojo! <laughs> ah! Watch Mojo Jojo. They just sued us for that. Nice. <laughs> uh, number five is uh, Suicide Squad. Oh, I don't know where to start. That was yeah, a bad know. movie. Suicide Squad better, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, they won an Oscar. You get off them right now. Oscar for best makeup. Hey. It's an Oscar. You're right. Yeah. Um. It's not an it's Oscar. It's one of the Isaac, most recent Oscar. films that DC has released. <laughs> and everyone was like, man, this movie looks great. I think, I think it wouldn't be as <laughs> low on the or on this list. If it wasn't so hyped. Yeah, I was hyped for it. I'm not going to lie. Like, all you heard was, Suicide Squad's great. Look at the Joker. Suicide Squad, new Joker, <laughs> Will Smith, Margot Y'all Jokers Robbie. must be crazy. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that movie. 20 minute stops. <laughs> it's going to take me 20 minute stops to hit all these targets. Wow. 20 minute stops. 20 minute stops. I don't uh, know. Eddie Murphy Eddie as Murphy. Will Smith yeah. as Deadshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it was bad. It's yeah, a that's bad that. movie, dude. I feel really next. <laughs> I feel kidding. really like I don't want to elaborate about this because it's it's upsetting. I will. New Joker was bad. Harley Quinn wasn't cool. Um, the flashbacks were dumb. Not enough Joker. The Joker was like portrayed to be in that movie for like the entire movie, and he was maybe in ten minutes of it. Yep. We also talked a little homosexually. You know, a little bit. A little bit. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> I'm just gonna kiss ya. What's that <laughs> big guy? <laughs> Was that scene ah, even in the movie? Ah, I don't even remember ah, that. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Enchantress was the worst part of that whole movie. Um, she was belly dancing the entire thing. Deadshot was not cool. Uh, how about Captain Boomerang, everybody? Round of applause. Captain he was Boomerang. actually a good character. <laughs> He's one of the better parts of it, but he did nothing. Like they had one boomerang for him to throw. And he was um, he's basically less useful than Hawkeye. Ooh, I don't really remember the dude's name that had the plush toy. You know what I'm talking about? That's that's that's, dead, that's, that's Deadpool. Captain, that's that's Captain Boomerang. <laughs> that was Captain Boomerang? Yeah, he had the unicorn. Oh yeah. Oh that is Captain Boomerang. I was totally thinking about uh the guy that dies in the beginning. Oh, slipknot? Yeah. Oh, uh, spoiler alert. The character you give that slipknot. guy a round of applause. <laughs> the character that they um, just hired to blow his head off, got his head blown off. Yeah, everyone got like a cool intro in the movie, like they did. And then, and then they were like, he just Slipknot. He, he just can climb up. anything. <laughs> but he, he just That's all out they nowhere. said about him, and I was like, nice. nice. I can dig yeah, it. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. But you know, yeah. I think I like the first part of that movie. Whenever they're introducing all those characters, way better than the last. Like whenever they're actually on their mission. I like that movie up until the point where director Waller goes in the helicopter and the helicopter crashes. I think it was a okay movie until that point, and then it became the worst movie ever. 
Yeah. One of the worst movies. Yeah, I definitely agree. Because it, it had the blue light in the sky, the terrible, Cause like, cliche. Enchantress doing some weird shoulder yeah. roll, like, hey, I'm a pizza. What's up? And I'm <laughs> killing, killing it. it. <laughs> and I'm killing you guys because I'm evil. And <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's just like, oh, we have this giant weapon in the middle of the city. Come stop us. But we're bad guys, so it's different, right? No, it's yeah. the same formula. Not even anywhere as good as those other movies yeah. have done that before. And right. Suicide Squad is is a fun comic to read and they took all the fun from the comics and yeah. just made it kind of terrible because Suicide Squad is they're still bad guys. Yeah. At the end of the day. They Even though they guys. like have their Tr- they good tried to moment. humanize them for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're still bad guys. Yeah. The the still motivating factor is that they're gonna get their head blown off if they don't do what they're supposed to do. Very yeah. True. But I think the Joker was great in his role as the uh, villain in the Rick Ross music video. Yeah, he did great. <laughs> he that was in that video. longer than he was in the main movie. Yeah, that I is swear. true. Hey, probably. That is true. Probably was. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. Yeah, but Seuss. moving on, let's go. Uh, all right, switching it up, let's go to uh, the good side. Number five. For the good ones is The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> <laughs> we have Bane with us today. Bane, thanks for being here. We're so glad you're here. It's extremely painful. <laughs> <laughs> to be on such an average podcast, a middling podcast. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for being here. Um, But yeah, I really liked the whole Dark Knight trilogy. was just really good overall. I think they really helped out comic book movies as a whole because oh, before, yeah. you know, you were having like Superman Returns and stuff and Marvel movies hadn't really like hit their peak at all. And even hit at or, all. It yeah. was like basically It was Batman Spider Man. Yeah. So the they had Spider Man was doing okay. And then the bad Hulk movie. The ve- yeah. Well this was two th- like this one was what, two thousand twelve ish? Two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. Fun fact, watch an old Incredible Hulk uh episode the other day. Lufrig Lou 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 was a big guy. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Hulk. I know. He should have played Bane. Yeah. And by played Bane, he shouldn't. Because he <laughs> sounds like he struggles to talk. <laughs> like, <laughs> his, his talk is work. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. man. But I really enjoy this movie. It's not the most comic book accurate, accurate movie. It's not comic book, book accurate, accurate. Barely. But but yeah. Especially the fact the that Robin is named literally Robin. <laughs> Why don't you try my real name? Robin. Robin. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> everyone in the movie theater. <laughs> Boo! Boo. Uh, Actually, everyone went, he's going to be the next, the next movie's going to be about him. What? And, and then <laughs> that movie never came out. They're like, Justin, Joseph Gordon Levitt Jr. is going to be, uh, have his own standalone. I'd watch that. I'm going to be honest. Is he actually with you. a junior? I think so. Joseph Gordon Levitt? Did he say Joseph? Did I say Ghost? Jo- ghost uh, Joseph the ghost Gordon of Joseph Levitt Gordon? Jr. I don't think he's a junior. I don't, I don't think he's a junior either. Well, I don't know why I'm thinking that. I'm thinking okay. of Robert Downey. Robert Downey Levitt Ghost Jr. Of jo- Joyce, I <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think it was really amazing how they. I'm good. Okay. How they kind of not cobbled this movie together, but uh, if Heath Ledger hadn't have passed, mm. that movie would be completely different. Yeah, that movie Absolutely. would be insanely and different. And so. For them to put out a as good of a movie as Dark Knight Rises with having to basically throw an entire script in the trash mm-hmm. yeah. is amazing. To I me. think they it would have been fairly similar, but they would have made more movies because I think what happens in the Dark Knight Rises it would have made the Joker be able to be free again. Oh yeah, and then that would have been a whole nother like the part two of their yeah. battle, which w- the- that would have been amazing to watch. Because the only one, only notable one that you see get released is Scarecrow, Scarecrow from yeah. the first one. Mm-hmm. But he does, he does provide an uh, an interesting portion of this movie. Yes. But I think if you're like, could, oh, that's if they could have taken the Joker. Yeah. From the last one. Yeah, it would have been crazy. And seen what he did. Because I think they just would have like, like put like a tiny scene of him leaving, and then people would have been like, oh no, what's gonna happen after this? Yeah. It would have been interesting, but I I love the movie that we got. I think it was a good f- finish and a wrap for them yeah. for yeah. Christian Bale's Batman and everything. Imagine if that momentum could have carried over to the DCEU right. and they made like 
a great series of movies off of that. I mean, I'm, I just try and picture like Christian Bale's Batman in a new Justice League movie. Think about that. It, I can't. it wouldn't be good. I can't. It'd be a completely different thing. Yeah. Because imagine if Christopher Nolan was directing the new Justice League movie. It'd be interesting. There would be a twist at the end. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Always. Never fails. <laughs> it would have been Batman inside of Superman. Spinning, inside. <laughs> and yeah. they'd realize it was all a dream the yeah. whole time. Yeah. At the very end of the movie, Batman's just like, I got to get my bat spinner. <laughs> <laughs> His bat fidget spinner? spinner? <laughs> His bat <laughs> fidget spinner? <laughs> yeah. If Inception had to come out today, they would have used fidget spinners <laughs> as their t- totems. <laughs> Whoa. We're still here. <laughs> and Keanu Reeves would have been there. Like, okay. So, yeah, that's our number five is Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Um, let's go back to the uh, bad side of DC Comics. And uh, let's talk about number four. Uh, this one. <laughs> Steel. Star- <laughs> starring Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, hey. So we're still on the great list, right? No, you're <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? Let's just start off and say why this movie was so terrible. Because Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> He's not an actor. He's You know you don't fit in that Buick. You know you don't make good movies. <laughs> His best role was in Good Burger when he had the burger and that was it. Yeah, all he had to do was eat a burger and, and he did it fine. He should have won an Oscar for that. Yeah. The Good Burger? Yeah. Yeah. Good Burger should have won for some makeup. sort of Oscar. <laughs> for best makeup. <laughs> one of the best basketball players of all time. <laughs> also one of the most horridly... Bad terrible actor. actors. Yeah. I think he's a it's really like, likable guy, makes, and that's uh, what they were banking on. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Man, he makes me cringe in his Gold Bond commercials. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, like, I uh, got Gold Bond. That acting, dude. Just I honestly don't think... Icy <laughs> Hot Ice Packs. <laughs> I don't know those actual commercials. I've only seen the memes where they, like, <laughs> 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 distort it out of this uh-huh. world. Yep. But Steel, he plays John Henry Irons, who uh, he was first, like, in the comics as... A replacement when Superman was killed by Doomsday. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was his first, but that's what I remember him mm-hmm. doing is when, when he died. But in this one, he's a weapons designer for mm-hmm. the military. Mm-hmm. and um, so Things he, go awry. And so he's like, I don't like this. Uh, it's Does really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Does Bane show up? Yeah. yeah. Bane, <laughs> Bane was actually, yeah, <laughs> it's a time-traveling movie. Yes. But uh, I really don't remember a bunch of it other than, like, how... I, It's just Shaquille O'Neal is just a very terrible actor, and in serious moments, he delivers everything flat. <laughs> no, don't kill that person, please. No. That's what, it was like the... Yeah, I don't see no tomatoes on this burger, buddy. I don't see no tomatoes. The whole thing was he saw... Um, I love that scene in Steel. That was my favorite yeah, scene. Yeah, no. When, when, when he crossed over into Good Burger Universe. <laughs> but... Uh, it, the whole thing is there. He he witnesses like a, a bad weapons. Like uh, he's like, oh, I don't agree with this weapons thing. And then he has to fight it. Oh. If I'm remembering correctly, uh, okay. correct me down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you have seen this movie, yeah, because <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen it. And I I, I watched a video like a couple weeks ago making fun of it, and I can't remember anything other than. Him like throwing things like he looks like a superhero, if right. a superhero was I big, pudgy, and goofy. <laughs> because <laughs> he was pudgy. Uh, I mean, he was he was working his way towards pudginess because it was when he was making the transition from Orlando to L.A. So and was L.A. Like was Hollywood. when he was uh-huh. like, you know what? I'm still great even if I am 350 pounds. <laughs> so why not? Mm-hmm. Uh, I just remember seeing scenes of that movie. I don't know if I've seen it all the way through, but you just say. Shaq is the main character in anything, and I'd probably be like, mm, no, nah, I don't no, want to see that. Did they even let him rock that terrible earring he used to rock? <laughs> I think they did. Like, they were like, you know what, just wear it. Was he trying to do that? the one Michael Jordan giant earring? Yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Mm. But it was it was like the same size earring that Michael Jordan had, but Shaquille O'Neal is so much larger. <laughs> it looked like just like a Funyun on his ear. <laughs> Funyuns. <laughs> just so uh, bad. Yeah. But uh, you know what? We'll forgive it because it's very 90s, but it's t- still a terrible movie. It is a bad movie. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. Mm. 10 out of 10 would not watch again. As as a comedy, <laughs> for being Great bad, movie. it stands up. Anything else, like the way they made it, which was 
pretty serious. Shaquille O'Neal's a goofy guy. Make him goofy. Yeah. On purpose, not on accident. But All right, let's finally talk about a good movie. Uh, number four, Batman, the 1989 movie with Michael Keaton starring as Batman. <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> you want to get nuts? <laughs> that's that one, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, you what don't are you remember? talking about? Yeah, that's the one where he's... <laughs> Bruce Wayne and his girlfriend in that movie are like with the Joker and he's <laughs> the Joker is like threatening them or whatever and he has like not uh what is that thing it's you poke you poke a f- uh, fire a furnace you know a uh, poker yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a poker a uh, fire poker yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he grabs it like smashes a vase and he's like you want to get nuts <laughs> and it's one of the best scenes in in movie history uh not on purpose though uh-huh. But it's a great movie. It's a, it's a yeah. good movie, though. It was probably the first time Batman was uh, a serious character. Did he kill people in that one? He killed people in that one. He's right? killed people in every single movie. Yeah. No Except the Adam think. West one, 1966. No. Okay. But he's killed. He but killed people. Right. They say he didn't, but he did. Right. Coming from. He definitely the, did in the new movie. The last the Batman <laughs> appearance they had was Adam West in the 60s. And then coming to this whole new, like, dark, you know, gritty, like, oh, I'm scary. I'm what Batman should be, you know? It was really cool, you know, because I was there in 89. I remember going to the theaters watching it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were, wait, how you old? You and Bane in your time You were time negative, t- negative time nine. Traveling? I know, I was negative, uh, <laughs> so negative, yeah, negative nine. Yeah. 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 I was, I was, what, negative five then? Yeah, you were negative five. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I remember it very vividly, but yeah. I think I remember reading something about that movie the other day that uh, Batman was actually supposed to be a lot chattier in that movie. And, like, every time they'd bring the script to Michael Keaton, he'd be like, no. Batman wouldn't be this way? Batman wouldn't. The only thing he was. You know, after hearing that, the only thing he said yes to was, you want to get nuts? (laughs) I still. That's my favorite thing from that movie. This is how ridiculous it is. Good job, Michael Keaton. But Jack Nicholson was. That was yeah. pretty good. He gave a good Joker, That's but good joke. he can it do wasn't. It. He can it just wasn't do comic a, book accurate. A good. No. He can just do a good crazy guy in general. Yeah, he. That's Jack his. Nicholson that's his, his expertise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's Johnny. Yeah, oh. but like what I didn't like about the Joker is like in this movie in the '89, the guy he was before the Joker had he, a backstory. He was still crazy, just like the Joker was. He was already the Joker. Without the face paint and the whatever, because he was like a a mob leader or criminal yeah, leader. he was still he was still insane. But he then a, he fell into the vats, and then he just changed his, the skin of his color, oh. the, sk- the color of his skin, <laughs> the skin of his color. He w- <laughs> wow! I, I don't know how that works, but impressive. I dig it. Yeah. What is that famous line he says in the last battle? <laughs> you want to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that from that? Yeah. I really don't remember. Dude, I will totally I'm Google it right now. <laughs> I'm trying to think of Jack Nicholson saying that. Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try to do an impression bad, but I don't think it would do it justice. Uh, dude, honestly, the only way I can picture him is just leaning b- back with his arms crossed at a Lakers game because <laughs> that's all he does now. I, I just Wha- picture him in uh, – <laughs> Look at this ad overload. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. What? I- <laughs> yeah, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? You ever dance with the t- <laughs> You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? You can't handle the truth. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of good <laughs> Jack Nicholson quotes now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good as you want to get nuts, but You want to get nuts. <laughs> it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Remember remember the parade? <laughs> with all the Joker floats. <laughs> I never think about this movie. I didn't really like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Still number four on the best one, though. The movie. It wasn't bad. The movie. I don't know why I did this to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the movie is, is good in the fact that it made. Batman kind of <laughs> mainstream. No, no. Mainstream. We put it on the good list because we all have good memories of it, and then when we actually think about it, well, the I more think we talk about it, <laughs> I want to put it on the bad list, but it, it's not it, that bad. It showed Batman. It's kind of like how he was truly meant to be. Like, because the only thing we've seen was in the 60s. Hey, stop talking, Lucas. Nobody's saying any words I other know. than you. <laughs> <laughs> 
But um, I think it was just cool because they showed him how Batman was supposed to be for the first time since ever in a movie. You know? I agree. Yeah, sure, man. So let's move to to the worst again. Honestly, this is one of my favorite movies. I don't know what's on here. Uh, number three, it's Batman 1989. <laughs> 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 it's actually uh, Catwoman starring <laughs> Halle Berry. Yeah, I don't know why it's on this list, man. Wow. That movie, <clears throat> Halle Berry, uh, I guess she's a fine actress. I, I don't know. I can't remember that many movies that she was in. I just remember the X-Men movies, and that's it. What is the uh, award ceremony that they give for really bad movies? You know what I'm talking the about? The Razzies. The Razzies. Yeah. I can almost guarantee she got a few for her movie. This one? That for Catwoman, yeah. Yeah. This this deserves Razzies for sure. Mm-hmm. It's um what what I remember from this is that she figures out like she works at a pharmaceutical company, not a pharmaceutical, but like a makeup company. And um she finds out they're doing like some bad things like uh I think like experimenting on cats or something. No, she. Uh, what? <laughs> she oh works man. for a cosmetics company, and they're yeah. like doing like a new skin cream, and they're like doing R and D on cats, and like they end up finding out and, like she dies, but like she gets resurrected by like some Egyptian cats. Um, this is not a fever dream I had, guys. This <laughs> is the movie. I thought you were just. I thought you were just making this all no, up. No, no. I don't exactly. remember anything That's about the movie. That's all I remember is like, because I watched it once, and I think. It wouldn't surprise me if I turned it off immediately after that point. It's not a movie that you're like, oh, Catwoman's on. I'm going to go watch that. It's like, oh, skip that channel. Uh, Catwoman's on. I bet they paid $10 to air this. That's it. Like That movie is terrible. 50 cents. Just like Frosty's at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody's rich. That's why we made them 50, 50 cents. cents. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I... It's... Let's talk about comic accuracy, not. I mean, mm. Catwoman is just a regular just thief. She's, she's just stealing because she's, she's a snake thief. Yeah, but now she has, like, super abilities, but it's just like, I swear, I don't know if I'm I'm remembering this or if I had a dream, but I swear there's, like, a, a, a thing where she fights people, but it's, like, a basketball game. No, she oh. she does, like, a flip in a basketball game. Why is she playing basketball? I don't remember. <laughs> But it's like she grabs it and like does a f- like a ridiculous flip, like a not humanly possible. Like the flip. Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. That scene. Yeah, yeah, I hate that scene so much. And so, uh, it's just not good. Nothing about it is is one of the least watchable movies of all time. I can't it's so bad. I can't talk a lot about it because uh, didn't watch the whole thing ever. It deserves some Razzies for sure. It's the Razzleberry Award winner of most all time. <laughs> Actually, I think hey, that's that might good, be true. That's a good drink. You take that back. What? Uh, Razzleberry? What is a Razzleberry? It's a... Uh, oh, it's not Peace Tea. It's, oh, it might be Peace Tea. Isn't that, is that the alcoholic like Kroger. tea? No. What was the alcoholic tea? I don't know what tea you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't yeah, know. That's a Peace Tea. Mike's yeah. Hard Iced Tea. Is that what it is? I don't know. Mike's Hard Lemonade. All right, well, Mike's uh, hard <laughs> to get through movies. Uh, but Razzleberry is a good flavor. I'm just saying. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Mike's Hard Lemonade, and these <laughs> are the Mike's Hard to get through movies. Also, <laughs> check out uh, <laughs> Dollar Shave Club. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is a free plug. <laughs> Go to dollarshaveclub.com. It's a dollar. Uh, bedroom sessions. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get, take uh, you to nowhere. <laughs> to, get, <laughs> to get an error screen. <laughs> Uh, hey. But yeah, Catwoman apparently wasn't a good movie. It was not. All right. Let's go to... Uh, wow, look how these lined up. Number three was Catwoman on the worst list, but on the best list was Wonder Woman. Talking about, about bad female actors? Female actors. Female actresses? I should say female performances in DC comic movie. Going to good. Yeah. Wonder Woman just came out how many weeks ago? Was it a month ago already? It came out. Yeah, it was yeah. like the first week of... Uh, yeah, so, so yeah. It's, it's almost a month. Yeah. But number three is Wonder Woman. It's the best DC movie in the DCEU. I would agree. So I pinch poke you, Omi. Um, a, 
an, uh, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> <laughs> I I loved it. It was. We've already kind of talked about it a little bit on the podcast before, so yeah. it's kind of hard to to say something that we didn't say last time. But yeah. I I loved it. It was not as grim as the other ones, uh-huh. and not as out of like all over the place like Suicide Squad was. Right. And it was just it's well like put together. Gal Gadot is fantastic as uh, what she does. There was one thing in that movie that I p- confuses me. Okay. So I just want to talk about it with you guys for a minute. Okay. Possible spoiler alert? <coughs> Pot, pretty much a spoiler alert. Okay, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for Wonder Woman. Just skip ahead a little bit. Um, You know how he gets the book of the poison gas lady and leaves in an airplane, right? Yeah. Leaves on an airplane... Mm-hmm. Crashes into Themis- Themyscira, right? Mm-hmm. How are there boats right there? Why are boats chasing him into Themyscira? Where did those boats come from? Where is Themyscira, though? Because you can't... I know, but he was in a plane, but, but where did those boats show up from? None of that... You know what? That's just a plot hole that we're not going to address. Because, <laughs> to me, if it's cloaked for all of eternity, why did all of a sudden one dude... Get to go through. Also, is it because he why was is pure? That close? Yeah, it must be close to the Middle East because that's where he was, wasn't he? He was in Turkey. So he was it's in probably Turkey. Because yeah. uh, Themyscira is very close to Greek mythology. Right. So I think it's probably close to Greece or okay. Crete or something like uh-huh. that. Crete. Crete. But that, I'm an I, idiot. I just thought about that after. If I you was want just like, like a reasonable it, explanation, it's probably like the the Germans had already that fleet out in the water and they just so happened to be in the area so they went searching for him. And yeah, but he's in a German plane and they don't have radios. It's World War One. How did he still how did any of them get to Themyscira? That place does not exist on the Yeah, if it's just like a portal that you can walk through, it's just like a How is just no like one a, found it? It's just a Phantom Menace Star Wars bubble. Christopher Columbus would have rolled right up through uh, there. Right in there. So I don't know. Maybe it's because he was good. But then, even if he is good, if he's good, why would, why you, why would the Germans? Him? Why would they shoot down? A why would the, that's what I'm saying. Why there's would a, the he's in a German plane? There's no radios. No, there's probably radios, but it's not like they could let them know because other German planes are following them, and it's World War One. They're not gonna be like, it's that one, bro. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm pretty that sure one, it's that one. That one went down. Let's get that guy. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. This that's doesn't just make the. Sense. That's the uh, one good thing about that is number that two is on the, the worst <laughs> list: Wonder Woman. <laughs> the only good thing about this is that that is the only plot hole that I can think of in that entire movie. Everything else is good, and, and that's something that I had to consciously think about. But why did Ares have to look like an old man his entire life? Why did Ares have a mustache? <laughs> why did when, okay? I'm, why fine did with, I'm fine with his mustache. This is on the good list. Why are we doing this? Because uh, great movies have their faults. That's there we fact. go. Okay. I think every uh, every time he has his mustache is fine, up until <laughs> he puts on the helmet. Shave just, it off. Just black out his face with yes. red eyes. Like because that's what he looks like in the comics. Absolutely. But instead, dude. The- <laughs> whenever the, they had the flashback of him whenever he, like, he got smited <laughs> and, and he just looks up and he's, he's like his an, mustache still like oh, what uh. he's in a loincloth that's it and he's just sweaty with his mustache <laughs> great movie yeah I really enjoyed it I like that it was, movie yeah it was a lot of fun it's on the good list let's go to the bad list now well, that, were, that was where our two complaints is a mustache and uh, how did that guy get there and why did they shoot him down? So. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. It was first, a good movie. First five movie minutes, last five minutes. You know what's bad about this? Shoot. If someone hasn't seen this movie and they listen to this podcast. Well, we said spoiler alert. I know, but skip ahead. someone might just watch 30 the spoiler minutes. alerts and then be like, okay. <laughs> but you have to get to this point and realize when you need to skip. Uh, uh, <laughs> retroactive spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, I mean, that's not a... Mi- oh, that is kind of a major spoiler. We talked about oh. Aries and his mustache. Well, let's just spoil everything then. There are many people who have mustache in that movie. We didn't um, say who. Uh, Aries has a mustache. Could it be... Wonder Woman also has Wonder a mustache. Woman. Yeah, I thought that was really crazy how they gave her a mustache. I thought it was very empowering to women. Yeah. Is that the <laughs> <laughs> They'll just know that the, the, the general mustaches and the German are, uh, army is not You know guy. what? Mustaches you know what? are on a spectrum. You know what so. she could use? Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Please give us a sponsorship. Please. We're out here grinding for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. If anything remembers, if anybody remembers anything from this episode, it's that they just need to go to dollarshaveclub.com yeah. slash bedroom situation. <laughs> but I thought 
Uh, it was a really fun movie. Yeah, <coughs> overall, Wonder Woman was a great movie. It was a really good movie. Probably would watch it again with you guys. Yeah. Let's move on to uh, Back to the Bad. Back to the Bad. <laughs> number even two. <laughs> even we after go. we just talked about the bad things. Here we go to number two. Green Lantern. The Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie. You, you know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't, I don't care, care that, that Ryan Reynolds stinks. was Green Lantern. <laughs> we were almost on the same page yeah, with him. We um, I really like Ryan Reynolds. That was a very, very bad movie that on many levels. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, remember the, the scientist on Earth who like, got possessed by the big thing. The I don't parallax. Even know. Yeah. And his, yeah. Parallax got, and, and, and his head got so big for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it's getting like, bigger and bigger. I know what you're and talking like, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it his stop. head got ginormous for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why they did that? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, like there, that there wasn't sucks. a redeeming thing in that whole movie. Like it's weird just how he gets the power. It wasn't as cool. He it's finds like, some dead alien and is like the only person that's there. So he could have been tripping. I don't know. Finds some dead alien, gets a ring, gets a lantern. It's just. It's extremely weird that they were like, let's do all CGI suits. Uh, and the yes. mask, too. Like, the mask oh, the even mask worse. Was, oh, I think... So bad. Practical. That's when they should have gone practical. Yeah. I know, like... Yeah. Because you have to do a whole bunch of After Effects stuff to make that Work okay and move, and it didn't of, look instead, good. No, it didn't look good at all. Like, I get that they use their, their rings to construct their outfits. Yeah. But you but don't have to make it. It shouldn't no. look fake. Yeah. For some reason, I thought you had that over here. No, I don't. Oh, and that's movie, a shame. And Caleb's movie. Dad stops and watches it on FX every time. You know what? Dad likes bad movies. He really does. <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine. I bet that guy's seen it 50 times. I don't doubt it. I bet I've seen it 50 times. Okay, okay there. All right, it's there. better if you've seen the comics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't if be so If you've seen the comics... <laughs> <laughs> I've watched the comics, and that was, like, really good. Hugh Jackman That's is the, the best comic Wolverine. Hey, hey, this isn't a Marvel podcast. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let's, okay. Green Lantern. Uh, I can't remember what happened I'm, in the movie other than it being terrible. I remember the end is, fight being very bad and him obviously saying, like, the Lantern Corps. Wasn't it extremely quick? Thing? Like it, it was. Yeah. Dark as night. Hey. No evil will escape my life. <laughs> And then he wins. Then, yeah, then doesn't he say Green Lantern Slide or something? Yeah. 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 What did you say? So no evil will escape my light. I think it's might or light. But yeah. then there's like another stanza to their chant. Mm. Yeah. But uh, he, yeah, yeah. he goes through it, and that's how he wins the battle, you know, because yeah. he's Green Lantern. Because he has why willpower he? now, yeah. Also, Honestly, the why more... Why is he a pilot? <laughs> that's just because he was. So he's just a, he's just just a background just, yeah. story? Okay. Uh, it w- that's a, uh, it's hard to make... Green Lantern not corny like that. Yeah. Because well, his their power will, is based off power of willpower. His power is based off willpower, and it's like all pure but, and good. Yeah. And come on. Like, come on. Th- you, you can could make, make it an less... Ep- you could make a couple epic parts in there that are like, oh, yeah, I'm really feeling the Green Lantern vibe. But you it know, was just like, all bad. What if they just knocked him down like 50 times, and then he just keeps getting up and just getting Dormammu! stronger? Dormammu! <laughs> I've come to... Bu- Sorry, not a Marvel podcast. <laughs> I... Yeah. Yeah, just like when something that makes you go like, "Oh man, yeah, he's, he did he's, he did something of yeah, like, he's not chanting." Yeah, instead of like get like punched four or five times by a giant e- yellow goo. Yeah. And then oh, the Green Lantern's light. I got willpower now because yeah. of Blake Lively. <laughs> One thing is she in that movie? She is in that yeah, movie. Yeah. That's where they yeah. met. Oh really? Yeah, that's the oh. that's why uh, Ryan Reynolds says, "I'm okay with with Green Lantern, with Green Lantern being terrible because I did that movie and it was an awful movie, but I met my wife on that set." Worth so, it. So there you go. The worth yeah, it for not Ryan for Reynolds. us. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, one thing I liked about Green Lantern, which it's hard to find something to like, it's not even that cool, but it's like all diff- all the different aliens they had whenever, whenever he was training and stuff. I thought that was the coolest part of that movie. That's what I mean. And it was honestly like a five minute part, and that's. That I hope they reboot that soon with Justice League coming out. I'm sure that they. Will. I I heard that. He may make an appearance in. Have you the seen the one. new um, Green Lantern? DC oh, Comics cool. intro? Yeah, and it includes, before the movies, it includes, it Green, includes Lantern. Green Lantern. Who do you think would play that? Army Hammer. Army Hammer. I don't know. Uh, I, I want don't Idris, like Army Hammer. I want Idris Elba yeah, to play John Stewart. Be, 
Is it gonna be Army Hammer? I really don't like. I Army think Hammer. I think it actually is him because have you like seen the stuff on his Twitter and stuff? Does he post a bunch of that? He's like, there's been like a bunch of like teases and stuff towards like, oh, it's Army Hammer. He's gonna be the Green Lantern. So it's probably gonna end up being him. Um, I, I I'm fine with that. I mean, I'll be okay with it, but like the movies that I've seen him in, like The Lone Ranger, I hated that movie. That movie's not the good. The Man from Uncle, hated that movie. The like, movie was very okay. I don't think I've seen him in a movie that I liked. Well, just like fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah for real. That'd be cool if he like made an appearance. Like that could be his breakout. I would love if role. like him and maybe Idris Elba <laughs> as. Uh, John Stewart, which that would, would be, be fantastic. Very good. That'd yeah. be really, that'd be it, really good. He's like perfect for in that. In one of the alien Green Lanterns, what if they just like float back to Earth and they're like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. And Justice like, that would be I'm sure they'd amazing. Probably, like, I'm sure they'd probably have to help out because what it looks like from the trailer is that like is that the, the, uh, the parademons. bugs from, yeah, the bugs from. They're parademons. They're called parademons. parademons. Uh, they look like bugs to me. They um, do look like <laughs> bugs. <laughs> yes. But they're, they're they're those, I'm sure that they would probably be there yeah. fighting sometime. But it would be cool to get an origin story It'd for it. It'd be cool if like those three like you were talking about came back and they're like, yeah. Hal, I thought you were supposed to be protecting these guys. And then they're just like, yeah. oh. And, and then like, Army oh, Hammer's whoops. like, dude, I was hanging out. <laughs> Whoopsie. I was hanging out with Johnny Depp. Whoopsies. I <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I, we spent a good amount of time on Green Lantern. We should honestly. DC Maybe needs really to give like us a job because we, we have some good ideas. Like, We're not going to write out everything, but we're going to throw some stuff at you and you yeah. should listen. I'm gonna tweet this at I just, uh, I just, DC. I <laughs> just Andrew wanted. Selva. I just wanted some like in Green Lantern. I just wanted some moment. Like there's a moment in a movie. Like I don't know if you guys. I know he hasn't seen Braveheart, but you've seen Braveheart. There's just like in a uh, moment in Braveheart where you're like, man, something cool just happened. You're like, wow, that's goosebumps. Yeah, you're just like, dang, that's tingly. That like, never happens. Like in Wonder Woman, the moment where she steps out into no man's land. Yeah, that's you're just like that was really cool. cool that's really moment. cool. That that's what a a comic book movie needs. Yes. And Green Lantern did not have never one. was close to that. Never had one. Mm-mm. Never. Nope. That's uh, yeah. All right. Going back to the good list. Uh, we're going with number two. Another Nolan flick. Batman Begins. Yeah 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 yeah. The first one that brought back comic book movies, in my opinion, to the forefront yes. of. It, it's what started. Entertainment. What makes. Mm. Billions and billions of dollars year in and year out now. Yes, the it never yeah, fails dude. to anymore. Right. So what I'm saying, the those Batman's just started, and f- like made comic yeah. books movies like, oh dang, comic book movies could actually be really you know, good. And they don't have to be campy or cheesy. Yeah. They can be something they can just, else. They can be they serious. Can be, mm-hmm. GG Christopher Nolan. Yeah. I know. Like I get the complaint that it's not comic book accurate, and that like. Tick some like like comic book fans off, but like the majority of people that watch those movies really enjoy those movies. And I love Batman comics, and I did not care that it wasn't yeah. like I would didn't say have to follow directly right. along. His origin story, like him going to the League of Assassins, and everything wasn't that pretty accurate to what the comics did. With yeah, Batman. I think it was kind of goofy that they changed that uh, they pulled out the rug out from under him, who really was Raish. But yeah, that, that was. I don't mind. Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson as anything. I will watch Fantastic. that movie. Even if it's tank, Taken 27, uh, you probably look at yourself and think you're a bad father, one. <laughs> and two, come on, man. Should have done that after the second yeah. movie. I don't know what you're talking about. If your daughter gets taken more than once, you've screwed up as a parent. You get take, bro, just go talk to the popo. Get an identity <laughs> change. I don't know, man. Just do something different. Yes. You're failing. You're obviously failing. But I love Liam Neeson in this. I liked uh, Killian Murphy as Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. Dr. Jonathan oh, Crane. Oh, yeah. yeah. I That's, thought that, that was... That guy's a good actor. He's in a lot of Christopher Nolan films. Yeah, he is. He's per- pretty much every one. Yeah. But I, I love him as Scarecrow. I thought he was... He did a really good job. Enough parts normal, like looking yeah. normal, but also, also like, he ooh, looks extremely creepy. creepy. Yeah. yeah, which is perfect. Yeah. For for the scarecrow role, and yeah. so I I loved that, and I think Nolan casts well, and uh, Rachel first Rachel Rachel Mach one was good. I thought the first Rachel was okay. I was kind of mad that she didn't come back and do it. I don't n- I don't know what happened with that, but it yeah. didn't the the fact that that changed in later movies didn't really bother. They found somebody that was equally. I Fine. mean, she looked pretty. And they similar. killed her anyway. So yeah, spoilers. Spoiler for a, a if 10 you year old if movie. You, hey, man. Who are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> and then he takes him up. 
And uh, great movie. King Joffrey is totally chilling with him. Oh yeah, he saves him in whenever the, in they the leave first yeah. house. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, that's funny. That's yeah. a good little tidbit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Batman Begins. I like all the Liam Neeson moments, and I like Batman becoming Batman. his own Batman. Because first, like he's the League of Shadows, and he's like, "Hey, I just want to get revenge and stuff." But then it was. I liked how whenever he was like, "I have to wear a suit to protect myself," and like yeah. whatever, they explain like kind of like each piece of it. And it's no longer this plastic rubber suit that somehow deflects bullets off of him or whatever. It's That's actually like this armor that he wears, and it's like really cool. I you thought know. that was a good way to get all of his gadgets, just have the R in the R and D department. Lucius Fox. Yeah. Hi, I'm Morgan Freeman. And yes, it comes in black. <laughs> Mr. Wayne. It comes in black, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> I don't know if any one of us had a good one right then, but Do- Lucas was best. <laughs> Does it come in black? <laughs> Does it come in black? <laughs> That's him from American Psycho and not... <laughs> Does it come in black? <laughs> that was Christian Bale, <laughs> yeah, in American Psycho, but not ba- Batman Begins. That was good, Caleb. I like that. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it w- yeah, it, it just revamped comic book movies. It was good, which <laughs> was what mattered. That's yeah. a funny meme. I forgot about that. American Psycho, he kills Jared Leto. Just yeah. the Joker? Yeah. yeah. You already killed Joker, man. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get memed. And I think uh when did this movie come out? Two thousand four. Two thousand four? Yeah. yeah. You know, two thousand eight was never Iron Man <coughs> came out, the first Iron Man. So like like we said, it it really did started comic book movies. Yeah. Yeah. It was doing the Well I was sa- I think it showed that I think before. it showed like other people like Marvel that like, hey, comic book movies could actually succeed and do very well. And actually be a genuinely good movie. Yeah. Because before that, had we had a great comic book movie ever. Like with like acting on that level and like cinema, just everything. Yeah. Like Spider-Man 1 and 2. (laughs) Probably got. 1 had come out before (laughs) then. I think 2 might have as well. 1 had gotten the closest, but it was still on the cheesy, corny side. Yeah. But I I think these movies set the stage for uh, the industry being what it is now. Which is, comic book movies make bank. Yeah. yeah. So. Mad bank. Like even if they're not good, Batman versus Superman still makes like five hundred million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide Squad, even though not good, probably made five hundred million dollars. Oh, uh, Batman versus Superman made like seven hundred. Yeah. And then Suicide Squad made like four fifty. Yeah. Wonder Woman. Did. Wonder Woman's already passed Suicide Squad. Yeah. So, because that's, that's good. a good movie. Right. Yeah. I'm happy about that. Yeah. All right. It's the moment. You know what? Actually, before we actually get to number one of the worst list, let's just talk about an animated movie that didn't make the list, but it was still a bad movie. we're doing live action. We're doing most live action movies, but we wanted to mention this one. The honorable honorable mention of really not good um, animated. Uh, Animated movie, The Killing Joke, which uh, is a beloved comic that every Batman fan needs to read if you haven't read it. Are you really it's a Batman fan? It's probably overhyped, uh, but it's still very good. Like it's probably because if you comic? ask somebody, you about? yeah, if you ask somebody a storyline they've read, Batman or heard about Batman, it's probably mm-hmm. either The Dark Knight Returns, mm-hmm. yeah, which is I've also s- written by the same guy, right? No, I thought they were written by the same guy. Mm, that's George Miller, that did The Dark Knight Returns, and this is somebody else. I think I could be <laughs> wrong. But and if you don't know what a George Miller is, oh, um, uh, it's basically a Comic Con, but a person that writes. We really had to throw that in this one too. It's got to be referenced every good, time so they slow, don't forget man. the joke. Uh-huh. Um, this is on the bad side, right? The the animated yes. series, yeah, because yeah. that wasn't good. Mm-mm. It, it was, was weird. The fact that they okay, the comic doesn't even start until what twenty five thirty minutes in. No, like forty minutes in. Yeah, because I w- I remember watching it, and I was like. What is his first part? Yeah, yeah, I was like, this wasn't ever in the comic. Because right. I've read it. Mm-hmm. I own it, and it was really good. And I, it was like 40 minutes of just build-up and build-up that I really didn't care about, because it wasn't even about the Joker at all. It was about Batman and Batgirl having a romantic relationship, which, honestly, I don't care about. It was weird. Yeah, the fact that... Because you normally think of Batman, parent figure, yes, and then all the Bat family, kids. Kids. But instead, it was Batman, daddy... Daddy, Ooh, uh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he was uh, daddy, and then uh, Batgirl uh. was 
Uh, gross. It was... No, I just remember I, that whole, like, just watching that. Like, I didn't read the comic. Like, I knew that that happened in the comic, but just watching it, I was like, this is weird. I honestly, when that happened, I turned the movie off. I was like, yeah. I don't need to see what else happens because that's not okay. It's <laughs> like, just weird, dude. I'm fine going off book, but that is the point where it's like, how about you not? Is that... So... Like, yeah. That... Alan Moore's vision. Alan Moore was who wrote this one, mm-hmm. and it was Frank Miller who wrote Dark Knight Returns. I I had to look it up and figure it out. I but you. he didn't have this Batgirl. It was that that, that, that I don't think totally that's ever going on in Batman's mind, like ever. Because that Batman. changes the um the motivation for uh, him for Batman to yeah. go and take care of the Joker. Right. What he's done, because at that point it's a a, a, a romantic relationship yeah. instead of a father son which is or father daughter which yeah. is extremely different well i think it could have just stayed father daughter because imagine if the same thing happened to batgirl without have them having a romantic relationship batman would still want to murder the the joker yeah straight up because that's what he did in the it's like hey you just hurt my daughter when yeah. you're gonna go get slapped yeah but that's not you what know, happened it was really weird it was gross it was gross they I picked the best people to do that movie though with Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill playing oh the yeah. Joker, I think they all the all the voice acting and the animations were fine. It yeah, was just a weird it's just that the fact premise. that they the first forty to minutes of it to to make the movie last feature length, they had they to had to add that, in this. Which honestly, I which would have been fine if you had done every th- no because the whole thing of the forty minutes is Batgirl being like, I kind of like this guy, I, I like this guy, and it's Batman, and it's not okay. <laughs> That man is at least 20 years older than yeah. you. Also, she's like, I don't want you to look after me, so I'm going to do stuff on my don't own, which me. always makes me annoyed. That's exactly what happens. I know. Because they're in an argument. She's like, you don't have to look after me. And he's like, <laughs> 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 They do it on a roof. Glad to be here, baby. <laughs> that was so weird, man. Yeah, and they keep their mask on, you know? Do you notice that? No. Yeah. No. no. I was trying no, to get I turned it as fast as possible. <laughs> I was just like, mm, this is weird. I don't like this. I'm pretty sure I texted you guys and was like, this is weird. I don't like this. I seriously haven't finished it. It's gross. Uh, so don't watch that. <laughs> don't. <laughs> or just, Honestly, just skip could, the first 40 could... minutes and watch where the comic actually starts, yeah. and it's actually not that bad. Yeah. Skip to the part where she's... He's going after the Joker. Yeah. Skip to the part where um he actually shoots her. So spoilers. Spoiler. Spoilers. The Joker hurts Batgirl. I want to say, say something, but okay. you're going to have to pause it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't worth the pause at all. Yeah, it really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that was our honorable mention. So let's move on to our number one worst DC comic film. Oh my goodness. Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. George Clooney. And Chris O'Donnell. I just remember the back lips, Back at it bro. again. Uh, all I can <laughs> remember, dude, him just peeling off the lips and gotcha. <laughs> Get a kiss. Isn't that what she um. says, like something? <laughs> are, you, are you looking it up to watch the scene? <laughs> oh, no. No, uh, I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to see. What Robin says to Poe, it's in Ivy. <laughs> Dude, uh, everybody, George Clooney, chill. Bat Nipples, chill. is in that movie, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's Bat the, Nipples. That's Bat Nipples movie. Um, we might as well watch it for three minutes. <laughs> the entire, the entire. Oh, no. Hey. Hey guys, I'm Carly Potts. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 free ads, no free ads. <laughs> we don't want you. Oh, you have to wait two more seconds. <laughs> okay, we're good. Can you put your mic up to it, Tanner, so they can hear it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Robin's walking in. He's got his costume on. Some leaves just fall behind him. He's still walking in. We'll link it. Don't worry. We'll link it so you can watch it with us. <laughs> we'll, we'll link, link it. Vid. We'll link it. Okay, He's still walking. This, this video oh, doesn't <laughs> need to be three minutes. <laughs> He's turning over a new leaf. How about slippery when wet? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> She has no need to tell him. The to turn it's a ploy. It's all a cruel it's ploy. A trap. That's a cruel ploy. Sign me up for it's another. A trap. Yeah. 
<laughs> this movie's so bad. It's like I got him. Got him. Bad luck, I'm afraid. Time to die, little Robin. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. I hate to disappoint you, but... Alas, the lips. Rubber lips are immune to your charm. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber lips are immune, immune to your, to your charm. charm. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're back to the top. Number one. This is number one best movies. Number one. Th- that movie. <laughs> oh my God. That, I remember that being the one that I watched the most as a kid. Yeah. That movie. Yeah, I did watch that one the most. The only cool part about that Everyone, movie. Chill. What killed the dinosaurs? Come on. The Ice Age. Come on. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like as snow cones. <laughs> him as Mr. Into Freeze. The snow cone. He's Mr. Yeah. White Christmas. He's Mr. Snow Cone. <laughs> <laughs> the movie has too many awesomely bad moments. They were trying to combine the 1989 movie era, you know, with the 1966 Goofy, and it just ended up being terrible. Real bad. Uh, oh my goodness! I, I uh, we watched this so many times though. I we did watch this a lot. Like I remember we is that over there. What we used to have it on DVD. Yeah, I know it's somewhere it's in somewhere. this house. All right, can I take that home and watch it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you can huh. borrow it after we watch it again. Okay. Rubber lips are immune to your Wait. charm. <laughs> we had. <laughs> <laughs> we we have an idea. We may um may do like a video commentary, like a riff track thing, okay. and that might be the first movie we do because that'd be hilariously bad. Would, yeah, we'd have to condense it down, but I think we could do it. Yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that that movie is just has so much wrong with it, and so it's from start to finish, it's bad. George Clooney makes an all right Bruce Wayne, like you'd think uh, would be be an all right Bruce Wayne. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude! Batman. I'm just remembering the debit, uh, the the bat credit card, <coughs> when he whips it out at the the, <laughs> the that, ball. Um, he's that's like, a cool gadget, the man. The bat credit card. Credit card debt. Remember the, the never m- leave home without it. The monkeys, the monkeys at the uh, ball at the gala. Yep. Yeah, that was oh weird. My lord, what is wrong with this wee movie? Wee I don't know, dude. <laughs> 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 Good lord. And then Poison Ivy is dressed up as a gorilla. And like apparently every man was like, "Oh yeah, she is uh-huh. getting out of that gorilla costume." <laughs> <laughs> that was, oh, so uh, another thing which uh, I think is hilarious: a local newspaper in Burleson mm-hmm. broke this story last year. <coughs> they had a um, uh, an interview with Coolio. Mm-hmm. Coolio was in Batman and Robin. He was oh, yeah. the gang leader or whatever. Sure. The only reason he signed on to do that is because the r- director offered him in a sequel that he would cast him as Scarecrow. Oh. So Coolio would have been Scarecrow. That would have been bad. I would have seen him in Christopher Nolan's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just imagine. What's up? What's up? Batman begins with no longer being the good columns. <laughs> Spending most our lives scaring people and doing crap. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that rhyme was going, but uh, that's Coolio Living as Scarecrow. In paradise world. <laughs> that was better. Thank you for that. Good one. Yeah, yeah. But I just think, what were they thinking? I'd rather. Yeah. I'd probably rather had Weird Al do it. Yeah. Weird Al. A Weird Al Scarecrow. version <laughs> Amish Paradise. And, and then just Scarecrow have him be Scarecrow. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's worst DC comic movie ever. I. I would Without agree. a doubt. It is it's so, and then, and then uh, what's his name? Alfred has that disease for no reason. Oh, Alfred. Like, oh, yeah. That's why. That's how they make Batman really care about getting the free the cure for Nora, freeze, because yeah. they have the same thing. So yeah, I just want to basically cancer. Say something real quick. Spoilers for the list. There is no Superman. This is our opinion on the best and worst movies. Oh yeah, we forgot to say that at the beginning. But, yeah. Uh, um, it's not because we don't like Superman. It's just because all of his movies have been very bad. Like we, I, I think he's a like a cool character, but none of his. Is they haven't he hasn't been, been portrayed well. In yeah, the, the they haven't been egregiously DCU. bad like these things. Yes, or very or good very to stand good. out. Yes, they're very middle of the road. And the old ones, they might have been good back then, but 
But I, they don't stand up today, in my opinion. So you know? if you're sad that there's no Superman, just I'm sorry. Yeah. Man of Steel was okay. Batman vs Superman was even yeah. okayer. Yeah. Just right. our opinion. Lean and bad. Yeah. Just our opinion. Uh, okay. All right. Let's move on to the best DC comic movie, in our opinion. We in should our say opinion. yes. The Dark Knight. By far. These Easily would these, watch. I yeah. watch it every single time it's on TV. And maybe because I'm a big Heath Ledger fan, but I'm pretty sure it's because that's a fantastic movie. Even if Heath, I mean, well, Heath Ledger makes the movie. Yes. But even if you don't like Heath Ledger, you're like, wow, this is a good movie. Yes. Yeah. Because you probably wouldn't even know that that's Heath Ledger. Like, if someone has to tell you that that's Heath Ledger, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. I I love that movie. It that is was probably great movie. every single time. Batman Begins was good. <coughs> right. Really good movie. Yes. But The Dark Knight is like, one Took of the movies that made me go, I love yeah, Batman. Yeah, it was like, wow, Batman. this is amazing. This I love so cool. the battle, the, the ever ongoing battle between Batman and Joker. Just just like, I think the, they captured that amazing. extremely well. Very well. Is that it's the they, Joker they, is chaos and Batman is order. Yeah. yeah. And, and they've ha- they had this that back was, and that forth. That was exactly how they well, wanted it. Yeah. They had this back and forth like the entire movie. And like, there was like four d- separate occasions where like they had conflict with each other in the movie. Yeah. Cause and it was great. Jo- like the whole thing about it is Joker saying, "Why try? Chaos is gonna happen. All these people are bad. Why are you trying to do this, Batman? I'm gonna show you the truth." And Batman, Batman's moral is good, just, m- and, yeah, and yeah. Really the good. Joker is chaotic evil. evil. Yeah. And I just and how well, he's probably chaotic neutral because he doesn't I, care. If he's not like doing no. He a kills lot of the things. bad people. He kills the good people. He's just he doesn't care. crazy. Yeah, I think. Um, a lot of I know some people that don't like that movie because it's not. He's a very weird Joker. He's not any type of Joker. He's not like a comic book. He's not a animated series Joker. He's just that Joker, and that will only be the Dark Knight Joker. And that's perfect. And that's, I don't know it's why. My favorite. I don't know why people complain about that because, yeah. like, why would you want a copy of an older Joker? Make whenever you have this amazing thing in front of you, and it's. Completely original, completely new, and amazing. And that's what I think faults the new Joker, is because they said, we don't have to do what the comics do. We can do something different and interesting. Yeah, but... Because, but because it worked that, in Dark Knight. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to do that... You have to, to make be, him good. It has to be yeah. good. But yeah. that, I, they said, different, weird, worked. I, I think you would have been... make it work th- again. I think the Suicide Squad Joker may have been okay if you give that time to, like, stew for a second and be like, okay, this Joker is just, like, really freaking I want weird. Him, I want it's him to like have a movie with Batman. Yes. And give him, so I can give him a full like, chance. Yes, I would I would be okay. Like, I say Suicide Squad sucks and the Joker's retarded. I would be okay with giving him an actual chance. Like, what Suicide Squad did was, like, here is this Joker. He's brand new. We're going to let him, we're going to push him all at you right from the get-go for, for like, ten minutes in a movie. Yeah. But that's it. And that's all you're gonna get, and you're not gonna have any time to think about what happened or what what he did in that movie. No. Why he was even in that movie? He really didn't need to be in that movie. He really didn't. They originally supposedly wrote it where he was the villain of the movie, but then they backpedaled that because they wanted to save him that. for something else. Yeah, I don't know why to they make did him that. better. I know they like r- screwed Jared Leto over because he was like, "I'm gonna be in this movie a lot," and, and they made wasn't. it a big deal that he was gonna be in that movie a lot. And I mean, that like, dude you know went. What? We're gonna cut like that, he went insane. All your yeah. To play that role. Seriously. He's a very he's a method actor, so he's a waste. just being real crazy. Well, Heath yeah. Ledger went crazy Heath Ledger playing went, the role. Yeah. But it was worth it. Well <laughs> for <laughs> uh, Unfortunately I, I w- he he yeah. I watched the documentary about that the other day. Um I know it doesn't make it okay, I'm sure he was probably doing more prescription drugs than he probably should have. Yeah, but that's what I, killed him, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But he mixed two drugs. He didn't, like, just take one drug and all of it and, like, a whole... Like, he mixed two drugs that do not mix and was just trying to sleep because he was being crazy. Yeah. but Which is sad because he's a really great actor, but... But I think... Do you think that makes that movie even I higher th- on a pedestal? Yes, it is does. Is that he died? Yes. I don't think he wins an Oscar after? for that. If he's not, if he didn't. Because it was posthumous, right? He had passed. Mm-hmm. His dad received the Oscar for him. I mean, is that the only comic book movie to receive a legitimate Oscar? Suicide Squad? A legitimate, a legitimate Oscar? Oscar? An Oscar yeah. for <coughs> a performance. Best performance? I believe so. I, I think yeah. it actually is. 
I mean, and that just shows you how, how good it that was. propelled the comic book movies even further because people would be like, oh, "Dude, you can have an Oscar winning uh, that performance was, in a comic book movie." That was two thousand eight. That was yeah. fantastic acting. Yeah, <laughs> and that was two thousand eight. That's whenever Marvel started their whole the first Iron Man. Like, yeah, you know how Marvel it's good acting everything. when you want there to be more Joker scenes. Yeah. Like you're watching the movie, like the Batman scenes are cool, but you're like, okay, when are we gonna get back to Joker? What's this clown doing? I Literal remember, clown. <laughs> yeah. I just remember the pencil trick. Yeah. And dude. that blew that, my mind. That I was scene, like, that's awesome. Like watching that. That's that moment that I'm you, talking about. That's just goosebumps. Like, oh but the thing God. with with that movie is, there's more than one uh, moment. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, with I him. was. Whenever I watched the movie, I was younger. I was re- I was 2008. I was scared of him, watching that movie. Because mm-hmm. that dude makes you think. Someone's crazy yeah. like that. Somebody could be crazy. Because that's the thing, is you don't know who he is. Mm-mm. He's just a guy. Mm-hmm. Just a crazy guy. No background story at all. Just and, crazy. and that's what made it so gritty and real. Mm-hmm. I mean, not gritty, but real yep. and, and good. And that he keeps like changing his, his backstory. Like every time he talks about the scars. Nothing Perfect. in his pockets but knives and lint, man. You know yeah, what I'm dude. saying? <laughs> yeah, dude. So we, every time he talks about it, he changes the story. Was it this? Was it that? Was it popsicles? You don't know. You know I'm going home and watching this movie after. Probably. Now that we've talked too. about it, I need to... Can I come to? I think I to watch it. There. Can I come? Yes, yeah, right here. Right here, baby. Is it in the case? Please tell me it's in the case. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Good news. Hey. It uh, is? It's, it's uh, actually steel. So oh man, I was get, I was so I was even more excited because I didn't even know I owned that Shaq, film. Shack, 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 Shack. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on to our favorite segment. It's time for random news. Incredibly outlandish. All right, Tanner, you want to start us off this week with your random news? Yes, I do. All right, so this is the self-driving car technology has been foiled by kangaroos. Oh, no, really? (laughs) (laughs) I I was joking about it, and then I was like, wait a second, I want to hear more about this. So with with robots uh, eventually going to take over. Rule the universe. Skynet. Rule the world. Uh, We're building, uh, Volvo is building a self-driving car. Mm -hmm. I've Mm -hmm. seen iRobot. I know how that ends up. Not good for us. Not good. Mm Mm-mm. But um, so they have are built in, and they've thought about a lot of stuff, and it's a large animal uh, detecting, like the robotic computer yeah. will understand that. But due to the fact that kangaroos don't move like any other creature, they hop like that, mm-hmm. it throws off the thing, and so <laughs> it'll just blow through <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> if you're driving in Australia and you see a kangaroo on the road, your car won't stop. Uh, well, you're not driving. The robot car yeah, the is. robot car is driving. Yeah. You know there's some weird spaces, and like, that would be good to have in Australia because I, I just remember watching, I don't know, this is really random, but Dirty Jobs, there's a thing that he goes to it's Australia. That is a great show. Not as good as Kitchen Nightmares. Love Micro. Also <laughs> true. Micro's a cool guy. But anyway, they're in Australia, and he's going to like this this mine in the middle of nowhere, and it's there's no stops. It's just like hundreds of miles of nothing with like kangaroo car- carcasses on the side of the road, like cows on the side of the road, just like all this stuff. And that I guess having a car that would drive itself over that would be good. But that, that's it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Over a kangaroo. <laughs> but the, yeah. that's Poor kangaroos, what, though, you know? Yeah, they're having to work uh, <laughs> special because when kangaroos are in the air, the, the ro- it <coughs> sees them as, as further away than they actually know. are. So that means if they're hopping, car will just blow right through it and because it'll think it's far, further mm-hmm. away. Right. And especially in Australia – where I just read in the article, 80% of animal-related uh, wrecks in Australia, kangaroos. For sure. kangaroos. I would have thought 99, I wonder and what the can- other being squirrels. I wonder what uh, <laughs> Kangaroo Jack thinks about that. He probably thinks that he was in two bad movies with Anthony <laughs> Daniels. That should have ended 20 minutes times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lucas, what is, oh, what right. is yours? Uh, Mike is a little... Uh, a little heavy. I don't know. These people are dumb, so not really. A little, little dark? A uh, little dark. A little, little dark meat? A little dark. Uh, prepare yourself. There's smaller children in the room. You're going to have to ask them to leave. Not really. 
But uh, so there's this prank YouTube couple that uh, were doing, you know, pranks against each other. So the guy is it prank invasion? I uh, what's not up, prank invaders? <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I really want. I really enjoy those. You guys leave me alone. I don't you really enjoy I've prank never invasion. Se- I've never seen Chris one of those. Chris from Prank in my Invasion. Life. He's the one that says it's mommy daughter makeout day at the beach. Yeah. Nope. Don't enjoy that guy. <laughs> I, yeah. Never seen those. You before. played yourself. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. There's this YouTube prank couple, and uh, this guy's trying to prank his girlfriend. Gets an idea that, uh, hey, I'm going to get my girlfriend to shoot me, but I'm going to have a book between me and the gun. I'm going to show her a book that was already shot. I don't know if he just shot the book, but the bullet didn't go through the book. He decides to, like, okay, it's a prank. It's a prank. I'm going to have my girlfriend shoot me. She has a fifty caliber pistol. I don't know. They don't do, say what the pistol was. A foot away from this dude and puts a phone book next oh to him. Oh, yes. That's, that'll do it. That'll save yeah, him. Yeah, that 50 caliber pit. Really? He needs yeah. adamantium skin <laughs> to save him now. He needs uh, Batman's armor real quick. That's yeah. Still, Batman's armor wouldn't even help him with that. It's, a 50, it's stupid. It's a 50 caliber. Would knock him, at least <laughs> knock him on his cal- butt in Batman's. The bullet's going yeah. through you. You're getting launched backwards. The bullet's going through the wall to the other person's house. Through somebody else and then out that person's house. This is a uh, stereotypical. I want to be famous, but I'm also. It's a YouTube a prank. But idiot. The article uh, she just got sentenced to manslaughter. How many years? I uh, didn't say. Okay. Just said she was sent is charged with manslaughter. Now that um, baby got no kids. They no have kids. they have a no kid. Parents. They have a kid, and apparently she was pregnant when that happened too. So that's kind of just like an awful deal of trying to be a stupid YouTube prank. Which is very yeah, unfortunate that, n- because nowhere. it's not even funny. Like, oh, if I watch that, I'd be like, "Why did you just do that?" <laughs> that was. That like, I'm not like, "Oh man, that's so funny, guys! That was good." The uh, YouTube has destroyed pranks in general. I don't because even they've made things that aren't up, pranks dude. pranks anymore. They're not good. Like, uh, hey, I'm Joey Salads. Here's what we're doing today. Hey, yo, it's Joey Salads. I'm gonna go make out with some girls if they uh, don't, you know, win at rock paper scissors. Even though I bought. All of these girls and told them to meet me at this beach at this certain time. It's a, it's, cool. it's a prank, though. It's a prank. Hey, man. It's a prank. Racist supermarket prank. Gone sexual, gone wrong. Punched <laughs> in the face, parentheses. Not guy good pulls play. gun prank. Yeah. <laughs> guy gets a shot. White prank. nerd raps in the hood prank. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just... And people are... Dumb people who don't understand that those pranks are fake to begin with. They're all f- they're, they're all like, fake. I swear. Are trying to get n- famous and they're doing yeah. actually dangerous and stupid things like shooting someone with a fifty caliber bullet from a foot away. With just a fu- like uh, how dumb. I a foot f- away. Like how can how can you not think about that and be like, Okay, that's a book. This is a gun that will literally shoot through a cement block. <laughs> because people are dumb. Because we're we've established this, they're yeah. idiots. Yeah. Well, now he's t- <laughs> Well, but one was an idiot. <laughs> well, yeah. He's not anymore. Was, yes. Best well, wow, okay. Well, yep. that was this installment of Bedroom Sessions. Thanks for watching. I'm Caleb. Not watching, listening. I'm Caleb. No. Stop. Don't. <laughs> Get some help. Check us <laughs> <laughs> Check us out on uh, Twitter, <coughs> at Bedroom underscore podcast. Underscore podcast. Uh subscribe to us on iTunes. Please leave us a like and a review on iTunes. It really helps us. I don't know how that works, but it, it really does. does. Smash that so like button. Uh, we bam, bam, be, bam, we're we're going to be it. making an Instagram uh, soon, so you guys will know. Yo, how many likes for this podcast? How many, <coughs> likes? How many likes you think we can get? Dude, oh, I, I don't think 50,000 for this one. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Yo. No, 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 no. Yo. 75k. If we make Joey Salads one of the tags, we're going to get tons. 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 It's going to be huge. Yeah, check us out on... Everywhere, wherever you want. Anyway, and, and tell your friends. Tell your the, friends about us. The good yeah. old, uh, let them know that it's good. Uh, yeah. That always works. Just telling sh- someone. Share it. Share us on Facebook, share Twitter, it, Instagram, whatever, whatever you want. Yeah. This has been Bedroom Sessions. I'm Caleb. Yeah, oh, wow. It's Lucas. Uh, and I'm Tanner. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Arrivederci. Arrivederci.